tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. In this game, we'll see the Washington Wizards going up against the Detroit Pistons. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. A moment here to see the numbers for Corey Kispert. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. Now a look at Detroit's starting lineup. Down low, it's going to be Harris and Duran. Cunningham and Ivy work together as the backcourt. And it's Thompson in at the small forward position. And for the Wizards, Poole and Kispert at the 1 and 2. Kyle Kuzma out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Koulibaly in at the 3. Well, Doris, we got a clash at the 5 spot here tonight. Can't wait to see these centers go at it. B.A., there was once a go. point in history where we were talking about is the five-man phased out of the game, and all of a sudden now you have several MVPs who occupy the position. It is unequivocally going to be a special matchup tonight. Well, Doris, you covered him. Jordan Poole was electric in the 2022 NBA Finals. Well, B.A., there's no doubt they do not win the title without Jordan Poole and the lift he gave them at various points in that finals run. This guy is electric on the offensive end when his game is working. The first free throw is good. All right, Grant, what do you think about Jordan Poole's nickname? The Pool Party. Oh, it's very apt, right? <laughs> because when he's on, everyone is having a good time. But it also speaks to his relaxed attitude. He's out there to shoot and have fun while doing it. Now here's Cunningham. Inside. It's rebounded by Washington. And here is Kuzma. Poole outside. Alan Chunas with a screen on Cunningham. Outside Koulibaly. Launches a three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted, and Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Now here's Cunningham. 23 points his last outing. No good on the shot. Poke loose. Pool outside. To the inside, Valanciunas, and the dunk by Valanciunas. I tell you, you allow Jonas Valanciunas space, and he will throw it down. He's got the size and length to make it look easy. Now Cunningham, the stats he's putting up, impressive. Averaging around 30 and a half points a game to the paint. Can they get it? Ivy shot is off. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Valanciunas. And it's Harris with the rebound. The Pistons have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Thompson passes to Ivy. Back to Thompson. And the Wizards on the break. Here's Kispert. Cunningham with some nice D. That's some outstanding on-court awareness there. Just a terrific change of shot. Thompson with it. He's picked up by Kispert. And that one's good. Thompson. Good work down low. I mean, I like how confident Thompson is from this area. For Washington, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Valanchunas against Duran. Valanchunas passes to Kispert. Poole with the ball. Left side Koulibaly. Six to shoot. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Launches it from deep. Poole shot is off. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. 
Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Grant, I have to ask you, has there ever been a more intimidating team than the old bad boy Pistons? Well, they weren't fancy, but they played hard and they played physical basketball. Every team that faced those Detroit teams knew they were in for a battle. Here's Koulibaly. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Koulibaly's got five. Pistons trail by four. Pass to Harris. And here is Thompson. Now Duran. Valanchun is covering. Duran in the post. Valanchun is on him. Duran, no good. And the foul on Jaden Ivey. That's his first foul of the game. Harris against Kuzma. The rebound by Detroit. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. And, and you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Just fell a little bit short. If they're playing in their own building, they probably win that basketball game. The reality is it's a hard thing to win on the road in the NBA. And it's Washington with the ball. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. You've got to stand in and deliver from the free throw line, even in a tough environment, and they failed to do so. Cunningham against Poole. Cunningham passes to Harris. And again, the Pistons missing. And we've got a whistle. He was fouling with a purpose. And in that spot, in that situation, it's got to be a transition take foul. Washington shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And close to a quarter of the way into the season now, Grant, how aware are the players of where they are in the season? You know, B.A., you generally are aware of where you are in the year, but you rarely see guys counting games played or anything like that. Yeah, usually Dern is more of a finisher, but being selfless with the ball is a good thing for him in the long run. And timeout is called by Brian Keefe. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Let's turn to the league leaders now and check out which teams are tops in rebounding this season. The Pistons in second. This team has done a great job of hitting the boards, and they do tremendous work boxing out. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. A bit ago, Brian Keefe and I were able to chat. I asked him what's the key to slowing down Cade Cunningham. Coach said, quote, not letting him get clean looks inside the arc. Cade is a terrific mid-range shooter and a solid finisher inside, so we just have to get a hand in his face on every shot. Limiting his production could be the difference in this game. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Here's Ivy, following the score by Washington. Cunningham with the ball. That one drops for him. Cunningham's gotten his second bucket on the night. And no lack in concentration. Cunningham going to work. Pass to Valentunas. On the wing, Kuzma. The three is up. Drains the triple. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. And it's Detroit with the ball. It's a five-point game. Cunningham against Poole. 
Cunningham drives in. The three, here's Harris. That falls. Nice feed that time from Cunningham. Yeah, and a triple from Harris matching the one on the other end. Just, just great back and forth. Washington has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Kispert. And he goes in for the dunk. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Pistons trail by four. Cunningham looking it over. Pass to Ivy. Picked his pocket. And a fast break now for the Wizards. The rebound by Detroit. Here's Cunningham. Five points in the game. Now here's Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Six on the shot clock. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Harris misses. Wizards leading by four. And here's Kispert. 26 points for him last game against Atlanta. Cool from long range. And Ivy pulls it down. For Detroit, they've gotten five of 11 shots to go. Pass to Thompson. The jump hook. Doesn't go that time. The Wizards have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Three-pointer Kispert connects from downtown. Kispert's got five. An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Detroit with the ball. They trail by seven. Cunningham against Poole. It's Cunningham with a drive. He gets it in there. He has seven. And we've got a timeout from Brian Keith. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. And the Wizards making a change here. Brogdon's checked in. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Reed's checked in. Washington leading by five. Pass to Valentunas. Kuzma for three. The rebound by Detroit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Now Cunningham. Seven points in the game. Ivy outside. Over Brogdon. Ivy's shot is off. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Brogdon with a bucket. There is just a consistency to Malcolm Brogdon's shot. Doesn't matter if it's a mid-range, it looks the same. Cunningham passes to Ivy. Now here's Reed, defended by Kuzma. Here's Cunningham. It's rebounded by Washington. Alan Tunis has got five rebounds in the game. And make no mistake, Kate Cunningham is the engine of this team, Grant. Man, his vision and playmaking are crucial to the offense. Coach trusts him to make the right reads and set up his teammates. He has cut down on mistakes and is rounding into an elite point guard. Shot clock at three. Gets to the corner and hits it. Alan Tunis has got six. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Cunningham passes to Duran. Now here's Harris, defended by Kispert. Pass to Duran. On the wing, Ivy, guarded by Brogdon. Harris outside. Again, the miss by the Pistons. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Harris finds Duran. Now here's Cunningham. 
softly drops in the floater. He's got nine. And I love the energy from Cunningham inside, pushing to get the bucket. Wizards leading by seven. Outside Brogdon. Kuzma against Harris. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Harris. Over Kispert. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. And it's now only a five-point wizard lead. An understanding that the mid-range jumper is not dead. I love it. Harris is dependable and takes smart shots. And it's Brogdon missing. Detroit has gone two of five from deep. Here's Ivy. Kispert grabs a miss. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. course you look at this Washington team they hit the reset button BA I am sure that's not an easy decision to make but I believe it was the right move Washington was kind of stuck at that play in level now they have a clear focus and direction on the future may take some time but I like the plan and Detroit making a change here Stewart he's checked in for Duran Hardaway comes in for Harris Beasley's checked in for Ivy and it's Thompson in for Cunningham now here's Thompson as far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Reed passes to Hardaway. Here's Stewart. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. off from Stewart. And though they've had a lot of high draft picks, Grant, the Pistons are still fitting everything together. Yeah, and we've seen plenty of rebuilding teams go through struggles, and then suddenly everything clicks. But you have to have experience mixed in with the youth. Grant, you talk about NBA length. Alex Saar has it in spades. So many young bigs we're seeing these days. He combines that length with some guard skills as well, and that's a very intriguing package. Now here's Brogdon. 11 points for him last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. And it wasn't only his score, the intensity on defense. He nabbed three steals that night. And we have to take another look at that block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Pistons trail by four. Pass to Reed. And here's Hardaway, Koulibaly defending. Now here's Hardaway. Not a lot of room, and again, no good by Detroit. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Let's a three fly. And it's Koulibaly missing. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Hardaway, the pass to Reed. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. Detroit shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And it 
knocks down the first one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Wizards. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Just five to shoot. Some solid defense from Stewart. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. It's the Wizards. They lead by two. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And what do you think about how the Wizards are doing here? Well, they clearly came into this game focused on sharing the ball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. The Pistons trailing. Sadiq Bey out there with Sar. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon. Then there's Bilal Koulibaly. And it's Carrington in at the two. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Back to Thompson. Pass to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Thompson outside. Jacks up a three. Reed, no good. And for Washington, they're shooting only 39% so far in the game. Carrington, no good. Beasley with it. Yet to see a basket. Here's Thompson. Stewart, right side. Shoots over Sar. Stewart, no good. To the middle. Here's Koulibaly. Hardaway grabs the board. The Pistons shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. And there's the screen. Thompson passes to Beasley. Again the miss by the Pistons. The Wizards with a lead. Koulibaly with it. Now Thompson defending. And it's Koulibaly missing. For Detroit, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Right side, Hardaway. Down low, Beasley. That one's good. This game is all even. Beasley's gotten his first bucket of the night. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. And we've got a timeout from Brian Keith. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. And while we have a second, let's take a look at the top scoring rookies in the NBA right now. In the third spot, Alex Saar. And it's always hard to predict how easily young players will adapt to the league. But on the offensive end, he's really hit the ground running. And here's Washington. Still looking for their first basket since the first quarter. Next up, the Knicks in New York. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, the Wizards last season for the first time in a long time, hitting the reset button. A losing record, no surprise, but they're trying to build something from the ground up. Enough of treading water in the middle, Brian. They're 45 straight seasons without hitting 50 wins, the longest such streak in NBA history. Ooh, not good there, Allie. Thank you. And for the Wizards, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. Outside Brogdon. Stay outside. The three is up. Counted from distance. Bay's got his first three points of the game. 
Well, Bay knows his team needs this from him, and he's just finding ways to get productive at the arc. And the timeout called here by J.B. Vickerstaff. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. We're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Thompson. Pass to Reed. Five to shoot. Beasley for three. It's rebounded by Washington. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. To the paint. Here's Sar. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on Malik Beasley. Yeah, and the potential Sar has is enticing. He's a talented, mobile big man who wants to keep improving. Well, Grant, with all the parity and competition in the league today, there are still those teams piling up losses. Yeah, B.A., and with teams like the Thunder excelling, it's almost like youth is no longer an excuse. But... Some rebuilds take longer than others. Bagley's checked in for Koulibaly. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Sasser's checked in for Thompson. Now here's Sasser. Here's Hardaway. No good. Ooh, some solid defense from Brogdon. And they're running. And Bagley gets it to go. On the assist by Sar. And the Wizards lead by six. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Reed. It's Beasley on the wing. Fires from deep. Reed, no good. Wizards leading by six. Here's Carrington, still without a bucket. Bagley with it, guarded by Reed. Bagley passes to Brogdon. Here's Saar. So much skill there for Saar, and he can get elusive, which helped him draw the foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line in this one. That free throw misses. And they're ahead, but doing themselves no favors at the line. So both teams changing it up here. And the second free throw is good. And if you're a longtime Washington Wizards fan, you have to be pining for the glory days, Doris. And think how far back those glory days were, the 1970s. Back then, they made four finals and won one championship. But since that point, B.A., they haven't even made a conference finals. And yet again, they are in a rebuild. Incredible. Yeah, almost impossible to stop Dern inside. Wow. Just wow. Brogdon finds Bay. It's Poole on the wing. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Reed. And it's 6-10. Jalen Duran is an incredible athlete for his size. Yeah, he's got a lot of bounce, which helps him as a rim protector, rebounder, and lob threat. Plus, he's got quick Take feet, break. and he's Take able break. to guard smaller Do guys so. on the perimeter. Throw good. Pool. And Grant, when you play the Wizards, you better be ready to run. B.A., they like to speed you up. They force you to play at their pace. 
And on the flip side, that gives you open floor opportunities as well. And both free throws good for Poole. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Pass to Reed. Cunningham on the wing. Here's Duran to the inside. Here's Reed. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And he'll take his third and fourth free throws of the night. And the first one at the line is good. Good on both. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for Washington. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Kuzma with a screen on Cunningham. And the call will be against Kate Cunningham. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Poole finds Brogdon. Here's Saar. Here's Poole. He's watched by Cunningham. To the middle. Here's Saar. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Well, you have to track Saar in that action. He's so fluid for his size and does a great job coming off the pick. Pistons trail by seven. Here's Beasley. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Pool, the pass to Bay. There's the screen. Kuzma outside. Pool from long range. The rebound by Detroit. Duran's got his sixth rebound on the night. Cunningham against Pool. Pass to Beasley. Now Duran. Shot clock at five. Here's Cunningham. Rebounded by Kuzma. Wizards leading by five. Bay from long range. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got three assists tonight. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see a shot go in. Nicely done. Now here's Hardaway. He's coming off a 10-point game against Toronto. Beasley for three. Sinks the tray. Beasley's got seven points in the game. Uh, we know Mr. Beasley wants to drain it from distance, especially if you give him any kind of space. Brogdon, the pass to Poole. Takes a three. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Cunningham against Poole. Pulls it. No good off the glass. Washington has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Brogdon feeling it out a bit. From deep, Sar. The Pistons clear it. Following this one, they get to host the Bulls. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Beasley outside. Pass to Cunningham. Powers it in. Pretty clever move by Cunningham. Calling for the play to get himself some space to work with. Here's Brogdon. Poole outside. Brogdon with a screen on Cunningham. Here's Poole. Washington again can't hit. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Reed, no good. Washington leading by three. Bay passes to Brogdon. Pass to Saar. And here is Kuzma. Launches it. He drops it from range. 
Kuzma's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, right. you know that Kyle Kuzma has three-point range, boy, and he's got the green light. And J.B. Bickerstaff decides to call timeout. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. For Washington, Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Saar. Koulibaly comes in for Bay. And Corey Kispert subbed in for Brogdon. And Detroit making a change here. Pistons trail by six. Now here's Ivy. He's coming off a 10-point game against Toronto. And don't forget about the two blocks. He really changed the game for his team on the defensive side. Tries again. And Duran lays it in. Duran's got his second basket of the game. You have to put a body on Duran. He's quick, he's athletic, and he has that 7-5 wingspan. Pass to Poole. Puts up a three. Thompson pulls it in. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Cunningham, left side. The fader. It's rebounded by Washington. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. And that one's good. Koulibaly. Well, you want to see that level of unselfishness from Jordan Poole wanting to involve his open teammates. Pistons trail by seven. And here's Ivy. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Pass to Thompson. Back to Ivy. Just four to shoot. Kicks it out to Cunningham from behind the arc. Oh, the range of Cunningham. Yeah, an encouraging sign. When Cunningham is dialed in from deep, He's dangerous. 149 left to play in the first half. Valanciunas with it. Kuzma outside. The rebound by Detroit. Duran's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Cunningham passes to Duran. Now Harris. Valanciunas covering. Shoots a fadeaway. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Duran. And now just a two-point Washington lead. And it's Poole with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Outside Koulibaly. Beyond the arc. And it's Harris with the rebound. And here's Detroit. Here's Cunningham. And the foul on Jaden Ivey. That's his third foul so far. Washington shooting 35% on the second so far. Kispert outside. Back to Poole. Kispert outside. Pass to Kuzma. Valanchunas with a screen on Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. And another miss by Washington. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Duran the screen. Cunningham with the ball. Poole picks him up. And the officials will call the That's illegal screen. screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Hardaway's checked in for Ivy. Now here's Kispert. He's got five. Kuzma, the open look. From the top of the key, he buries it. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. Boy, being shot ready on the catch, Kyle Kuzma making it look easy. Now Cunningham. Out to Thompson. It could go. And that's not going to go. Misses at the buzzer. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Wizards. They lead by four. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports.
Welcome, everybody. The Washington Wizards in our featured matchup, and what a competitive half it's been. I love the depth of this team, man. Their subs have been huge tonight, giving them a scoring punch that they've needed most. And credit their coach for a rather liberal substitution pattern. He mixed and matched beautifully in that first half. And now let's take a glimpse at some of the games on the upcoming schedule. This stretch could break their season, but it could also make their season if they step up. When I was playing, I like these kind of games, to tell you the truth. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second-half action with Brian Anderson and company. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Nice game. Great performance by Kate Cunningham. He was getting into the lane easily that first half. He's just relentless. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. Pistons trail by four. And Detroit, let's look at who they've got. Thompson and Harris are the three and the four. Cunningham and Ivy work together as the backcourt. And it's Duran in at the five. Now here's Cunningham. Here's Ivy. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got rebound number seven tonight. Grant, Kyle Kuzma is an instinctual scorer who gets it done in a variety of ways. He's especially skilled inside the painted area, but he's a capable shooter from mid-range and beyond the arc. Plus, he's someone you can rely on in the clutch. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Yeah, Kuzma has gotten pretty good at this, spotting those open guys who are prepared to shoot. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Kate Cunningham has really been improving from distance. He said early in his career he was playing a lot of minutes and stepping back to the NBA three-point line, he just didn't have enough legs in his shot. After his shin surgery, he redefined his form and strengthened his legs. Brian, he said it helped a lot. That could be a silver lining of all that time off, Allie. Takes the three, and the Wizards with another three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Pistons trail by ten. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Cunningham against Poole. Pass to Durham. Thompson outside. Clock at six. From the left block. Soft touch off the glass. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Washington leading by eight. And timeout, timeout, timeout. is called by Brian Keefe. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. He recognizes players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And these point guards are making a big impact on defense as we take a look at the Steel's leaders so far this season. Fifth best, Cade Cunningham. Swiping the ball involves so much. It's reading passing lanes, understanding the offense in general, and taking high percentage risk. They do all of that. You know, I think that's the mentality they have when it comes to defending aggressive. They don't let up for one single second at that end of the floor, and they're always looking to cause you discomfort. Now here's Poole. He's got six. Here's Koulibaly. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got 11 rebounds in the game. Valanchunas against Thompson. Cunningham outside. It's rebounded by Washington. 
Kuzma's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And the timeout called here by J.B. Bickerstaff. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Doris, we know how big fashion is in today's NBA. Perhaps no one showcases this more than Kyle Kuzma. And you can tell, B.A., Kuz definitely has some fun with some of the outfit choices. He does not mind causing a stir on social media, and he does not mind pushing boundaries. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at Washington, not the start they were hoping for. They're in the bottom half of their conference. And check it out, Detroit, half a game behind. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Ivy outside. Pass to Harris. Cunningham on the wing. Guarded by Poole. And it's Cunningham missing. Washington leading by 11. Inside. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one on Harris. We learned early in his career that Jordan Poole is fearless. It is how he gets defenses to compromise. This will make five trips to the line for him tonight. Free throw good. Poole. When this young guy is on his game and 100% focused, Jordan Poole unequivocally has the talent to affect winning. And boy, we know he can come up clutch in big games. No good on the second free throw. Pistons trail by 12. Here's Ivy. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Ivy's got five now. Oh, one of the better attackers of the rim. Ivy will not be stopped. And it's Poole with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Washington again can't hit. The Pistons have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Thompson. Rebounded by Kuzma. Wizards leading by 10. Outside Koulibaly. Now here's Poole. Ivy defends. Poole against Ivy. It's Poole on the wing. He's got seven. And stolen by Cunningham. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Harris's shot is good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. The Wizards have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Cunningham against Poole. Alan Chunas with a screen on Cunningham. Poole for three. Washington again can't hit. Pistons trail by eight. Cunningham against Poole. Cunningham with the ball. 14 points for him. The layup off target. Pass to Poole. Now here's Kispert. Fires for three. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Durrett in the high post. And here's Ivy. And he drops it in from the low post. Ivy's got four points this quarter. Just finding room to go to work inside. Ivy really relies on his physical abilities to get a close range shot. Wizards leading by six. Poole outside. Kispert outside. To stop the drought. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting.
And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. And he drops the first. And Detroit making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. And he makes both free throws. Here's Cunningham. 14 points for him. Now here's Hardaway. Back to Cunningham. From downtown. It's rebounded by Washington. Kuzma's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Pass to Koulibaly. Kulabali on the wing. And another miss by Washington. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Hardaway into the lane. The layup misses. Washington leading by eight. Kispert outside. Here's Kuzma. No one near him. And he hits the jumper for two. Kuzma's got 13. Well, there's an efficiency and a flow to what's happening on the offensive end for Kyle Kuzma right now. Outside Hardaway. Harris passes to Cunningham. Harris is screen on pool. Here's Cunningham. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. I love big guards and Cunningham using the sides to perfection. Detroit shooting their 7th and 8th attempts at the foul line tonight. That free throw good from Cunningham. More and more we're seeing international players come into the league who are NBA ready, Grant. It really is a sight to see, B.A. And some of those guys start playing pro ball when they're 16 or 17 years old. It toughens you up real quick playing against older competition at that age. Reed's checked in for the Pistons. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dump, PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Thompson, he's checked in for Kate Cunningham. Timeout called here by J.B. Bickerstaff. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. With a brief pause, here are the most difficult teams to score against over the last 10 games. The Wizards, number one. Well, I just love the tenacity on the defensive end. They have been in lockdown mode. Pistons trail by 11. And here is Thompson. Harris outside. Right side Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Reed. There's the three. Knocks down the triple. Reed's got seven points in the game. Well... Tim Hardaway Jr., a better playmaker than maybe people think. This guy very good at breaking the defense down. And the Wizards with possession here. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And Valanciunas gets it to go on the assist by Brogdon. And the Wizards lead by 10. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Kuzma. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it. So close. And Washington making a change here. Bays checked in. And the switch here also for Detroit. Beasley's checked in. Pistons trail by 10. 
Now Harris. Nine points in the game. Back to Hardaway. Over Bay. Hardaway, no good. Washington leading by 10. And playing for his next contract. Tim Hardaway Jr. is motivated to get it going, Doris. Well, B.A., his best skill is obviously that three-point shooting. When he's near 40%, the impact he can have on your ability to score is tremendous. The floor spacing he provides is critical. Here's Carrington. Pass to Brogdon. Here's the three from deep. Brogdon! They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And there it is for him. Harris has got 11. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Brogdon with the ball. He's got five. Now Valanchunas. Kuzma for three. The rebound by Beasley. Pistons trail by 11. Pass to Duran. Hardaway on the wing. Let's it fly. They grab their own miss. Here's Reed. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. one falls for him. Bagley's checked in for Washington. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Stewart, he's checked in for Duran. And he makes the first but misses the second. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. Ten point lead. Pass to Carrington. Here's Brogdon. He's got five. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Pass to Harris. It's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. What's up? Free throw drops for Harris. Capable of playing both the three and four spots, Harris's versatility is his greatest strength. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And Detroit has possession. Following the score by Washington. Here's Hardaway. Rebound by the Wizards. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. Back to Brogdon. Now here's Valanciunas. He's got 10. Bagley, no good. 
114 left to play in the third quarter here. Stewart, the pass to Hardaway. Harris, right side. Shot from the low block. Nice touch on the bank shot. Harris has got nine points in the quarter. You have to do more to stop Harris. I mean, a little contact just won't cut it. Here's Brogdon. Brogdon with a strong finish. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Harris outside. Beasley outside. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Beasley's got 10 points. Now, this is Beasley's game, right? The ability to know when to shoot it off the catch. Here's Brogdon. Here's Valanciunas. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Isaiah Stewart. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. First free throw is good. At just about 85% from the line tonight. They've looked more and more comfortable as the game's gone on. Williams has checked in for Detroit. And Valanchunas drops them both. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. Now here's Hardaway. Defense right on him. Outside, Williams. Another three for Detroit. With one on the clock. The shot comes out. A big-time effort for Corey Kispert, providing a lot of energy for Washington, helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter, three for the game. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. They've got Marvin Bagley, also Sadiq Bey out there. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Sar, And it's Carrington in at the two. That's the group for Washington right now. If you want to talk about an NBA player who has poise and vision, that's Malcolm Brogdon doing work with the pass. That is nicely done. Pistons trail by seven. Stewart outside. Pass to Moore. Outside Hardaway. Six to shoot. Beasley for three. No good there. Washington leading by seven. Here's Carrington. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Yeah, what a dish from Bay. Kept his eyes up the floor and found an open teammate. Pick by Reed. from Beasley. 
guys, for Malik Beasley, it comes down to one thing in my mind, taking good shots. When he does that, he's super effective. So he gets them both. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Pass to Saar. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Detroit. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. And it's in there. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. It doesn't matter. Just make shots. Now here's Bagley. And here's Brogdon. Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got four rebounds now. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he makes a first. And Detroit making a change here. Sasser's checked in. He's off on the second. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Shots good by Carrington. And the Wizards lead by six. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Now here's Sasser. Defense is right there. To the right side. Outside Hardaway. This one for three. Rebounded by Brogdon. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Count it. Good. And it's an eight-point Washington lead. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Reed. Over to the left wing. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Bagley, no good. Pistons trail by eight. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. He misses the free throw. That's off as well, so he misses both. Wizards leading by eight. Here's Bay. The rebound by Detroit. Reed's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Cuts off the pass. Now the Wizards in transition. Open shot by Brogdon. And that one's on target from the wing. There's so much confidence right now with Malcolm Brogdon. The catch and shoot, so pretty. For Detroit, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Now here's Sasser. Tight defense on him. Pass to Stewart. For three, Hardaway. And Bay pulls it down. Bay's got four rebounds in the game. Just can't find a shot. It's no wonder they're losing. I mean, he's been completely scoreless all night. And good awareness by Bay. I mean, he has a nice feel for when his guys are uncovered. Pistons trail by 12. Now Sasser. A shot to stop the run. Here's Reed. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Pass to Stewart. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. Back to Hardaway. The three ball. Good work defensively by Brogdon. With him scoreless in the latter part of this one, it's awfully hard to come back. Here's Carrington. There's the triple. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got assist number seven tonight. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And here's Detroit. 15-point game. Pass to Sasser. Back to Hardaway.
Tries to break his ice. No luck on that one. Ooh, some solid defense from Brogdon. And the free throw, no good. Yes, yeah, solid shooter at the stripe. Bay really confident when he has freebies to shoot. Both teams will make substitutions. And here's Washington. They're on a 15-5 run. Ivy against Brogdon. And Ivy pulls it down. Pistons trail by 15. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And that one's good. Cunningham. Tough shot. I mean, Cunningham has great size at his position, which really helps him in the paint. Washington's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Kispert outside. Pass to Bay. 4-3. The rebound by Detroit. Ivy, left side. And Ivy has no fear when it comes to getting inside. He's got a strong frame and doesn't mind taking contact when he has to. Free throw good, Ivy. So for Washington, Koulibaly, he's checked in for Bay. And it's Poole in for Malcolm Brogdon. Thompson, he's checked in for Detroit. So one for two that time at the stripe. With missed opportunities from the line this half, they're not doing themselves any favors. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. Pistons trail by 12. Here's Ivy. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Reed's checked in for Ivy. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for Washington. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Poole exploding to the rim. Misses the layup. And the Pistons shooting 37% from the floor at this point. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You have to admire Cunningham's concentration in these spots. Refusing to let the defense overwhelm him. That free throw good from Cunningham. And Washington has possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And there's a pick. Back to Koulibaly, to the middle. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Boy, what a game it's been for Jonas Valanciunas. It hasn't mattered what the defense has thrown at him. He's continued to deliver on the offensive end. Pistons trail by 12. Here's Thompson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Corey Kispert. The first one falls. Ivy's checked in for Detroit. Both free throws good from Thompson. Wizards leading by 10. Cool with the ball. Pass to Kispert. Hires the three. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Cunningham. Thompson, a screen on Poole. Cunningham with the ball. Picked up by Koulibaly. And there's a three-second violation. I think that's going to stick with them for a while. Huge mistake at a critical juncture in the game. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. Washington has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Kuzma outside. Back to Poole. Down low. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. You have to be able to read the game as that pick and roll unfolds. Jordan Poole decides the right decision. Make the pass. 
Here's Cunningham. Pass to Duran. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Wizards leading by 15. Poole left side. Kispert with the ball. Ivy defends. Back to Kispert. Kuzma with the ball. Clock at four. Fires the three. The Pistons clear it. Thompson's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Goes back up. Pass to Duran. Harris outside. Buries it from three. Harris has got 19 points. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Poole against Cunningham. Poole, the pass to Kispert. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pistons trail by 12. Cunningham with the ball. Picked up by Koulibaly. Cunningham drives in. Cunningham using his size. I mean, he does everything on the floor. Cunningham always with max effort. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. And things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Kuzma down low. Pounded by Harris. Valanchuna sets a screen. Washington again can't hit. Still searching for his first bucket. You wonder how far ahead they'd be if he was playing anywhere near his full potential. Pass to Duran. Poole against Cunningham. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Wizards leading by 10. Here's Poole. And Ivy pulls it down. Ivy's got five rebounds tonight. Cunningham passes to Thompson. Cunningham, left side, to the inside. It's stolen by Poole. And a fast break now for the Wizards. Moving it up. Crafty move. And Valanchunas with the lay-in. Valanchunas has got four points this quarter. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. And J.B. Bickerstaff decides to call timeout. He wants to make sure everyone is aligned, given the situation right now. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break. Coach was seething about the turnovers. He said, I love everything we're doing but the turnovers. They're killing us. Let's clean up that before it sinks us. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's Ivy. Kispert with some nice team. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. Back to Koulibaly. Koulibaly on the wing. Pass to Kispert. Poole against Thompson. Outside Koulibaly. Poole for three. They get it again. He goes up again. Valanchunas can't get it to go. And here's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Down by 12. On the wing, Thompson. And here's Harris. Defended by Kuzma. From the arc. It's rebounded by Washington. Poole's got four rebounds now. And the call will be against Kate Cunningham. That's his third foul so far. Washington calls timeout. They're in front by 12. Valanchunas finds Poole. Kuzma outside. 
Off target from outside. Pistons trail by 12. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Wizards. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. It's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. And they pick up their fourth win of the year. Every victory so sweet in the association. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And no question this was a team effort. But you have to love how big a night this was for Kyle Kuzma. Boy, I thought his best work was his pursuit of the basketball. He competed for every rebound, fought for position in the paint, and never stopped working. I love it. Now here's Poole. Puts it up. And Kuzma the bucket on the assist by Poole. And the Wizards lead by 12. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. And it's Kuzma finishing it off. To me, that's about two things, guys. That's the hustle and timing of Kyle Kuzma getting to the offensive window. Ivy finds Duran. Here's Cunningham, guarded by Poole. And here's Ivy from the arc. So we see the Wizards taking the W here. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Malcolm, there's no question you won this game defensively. What were the aspects that enabled you to contain them so well? Man, just being locked in, man. Every possession. We didn't take any possessions off. Um, everybody guarded their lane, and, and we're there on the help side. You have to be mentally exhausted. Thanks, Malcolm. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Kyle Kuzma.